Hey guys, so it's my first readathon vlog. And amazingly, because it's my first readathon vlog, I've managed to already mess it up. Sounds about right. So my first readathon is for the Retelathon, which is hosted by some really awesome people, and I'll link them all down below. But basically, you're just reading retellings of fairy tales or classics or really anything, and they've got five different challenges going on. I made up a list of quite a few books that could work for this, so I don't have my exact TBR nailed down. It's going to be kind of what I feel like reading <laughs> when it comes up and also if some of my library holds come in but the way that I messed this up already is I spaced out and it was supposed to start yesterday and I am starting it tonight so I'm already a day late but I should still be able to fit in quite a few books and to do that I am going to start with Ash by Melinda Lowe I don't think you can actually see that very well but and as far as I know, it is a retelling of Cinderella, a little bit dark, and I believe it has some female-female romance, so that'll be interesting and great to read. But it's like 8 o'clock now because I just finished dinner, put the kid out of bed, and I'm now finally sitting in my own bed, and we're going to start it out. It's not a huge book. I think it's just over 200 pages, and the font's kind of big, so I should be able to get through it all tonight. And then we will see where the next one takes us. So I'm going to start reading and I will check in with you guys sometime later. Bye. It is now a little after midnight, and I have finished my first book for Retelathon. So, as I said before, I was reading Ash by Melinda Lowe, and it is actually a Cinderella retelling. I had to move out to the living room. I was in my bed. My husband is not asleep, and I did not really want to vlog and wake him up in there. But, it was really good. I think I'm going to give it a good, like... Four, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really great. It was sweet. It had really classic fairy tale vibes, which is really nice start to this. It had that really good magical, mysterious atmosphere where the setting really becomes like another character. And I also like that it had a lot of mini fairy tales in it because the main character reads fairy tales. So some of what is happening in those little tales mirror what's going on in the book and kind of foreshadow things that was a lot of fun and unlike the traditional Cinderella the fairy godmother it's not a godmother is a fairy but is like fae in the traditional sense so when you get those wishes it comes with a price and I really like the darker fae versus like sparkly Tinkerbell so that was fun depending upon if my hole comes in tomorrow I'm either going to start Cruel Beauty, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, or I've got, sitting on my shelf that I've had for a while, a book called Tender Morsels, which would be a dark retelling of Snow White, Rose Red. Maybe a little Beauty and the Beast, so that'll be good. Also, I have to quickly update you on my little lap cat here. He's a very helpful addition to retelathon. Sometimes he makes it hard to get reading done. Do any of your other cats lay on the books or try to get themselves into the book while you're reading it so you can give them more attention more scratches because mine does <laughs> so i am going to go to bed now and i will update you guys tomorrow good morning guys it's day three of retelathon anyhow it's like 7 30 in the morning we just got up say hi hi <laughs> Um, got a few errands, but hopefully I can get some more Whoa. reading in today. Oh my. I'm hoping my other library hold comes in. 
and then we can keep chugging right along at this thing. I realize I didn't say really any of my criticisms with the update I had last night for you. I Again, I did really like Ash overall. Um, I'd say my biggest criticism for it would be just that there was kind of a little bit of insta-love. I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was it still built pretty well. And actually that I wish it kind of would have been longer. I would have liked to see some of the relationships fleshed out more. I would have loved to see a scene towards the end that's kind of important, but we just get it kind of glossed over. It's all done kind of like off screen. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, okay. I'll fix it in a minute. I'm almost done. But yeah, again, liked it really good overall. But again, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to more retelling. So I'm going to get to work on tender morsels of bed and then see where the day takes us. Okay, I am now outside Half Price Books and I am about to go get another book for Readathon. Because <laughs> I changed my mind and I decided I wanted the newest Naomi Novik book, Spinning Silver. And they've got a sale going where it's like 30% off your highest item, so even better, a little bit of saved money. So we're just gonna get it. Fits with us anyway. <laughs> Be right back. All right, so let me show you what I got. And I ended up getting, yep. Spinning silver. Very excited about that. They're so pretty. I love them. Even the spines are pretty. They're just so like fairy tale, which is very appropriate right now. Yeah, so I can't read to read that. And then because I've been waiting on my library hold for it and it hasn't shown up yet, I went ahead and picked up uh, Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So we're gonna check it out. Hope it's good. So this is the one that I was supposed to be reading for my um, retelling of your favorite fairy tale. And I think I can get through it pretty quickly. So we'll see if it's any good. All right. I'm going to get some food and head home and then start reading. I forgot to finish my update last night, but I ended up reading all of Cruel Beauty and it was really good. It's this interesting mix of like Greco-Roman historical mythology um, with a little bit of Celtic and traditional fairy tale all woven together as a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So that was interesting and then it had a kind of a dark twist because the Belle per se in the story she was destined to be the assassin of the beast for her kingdom in order to get out from under his rule so that was different. <laughs> but the combination of all the unique elements made it really interesting and was why I read it all in one sitting. So now I've just got to decide what my last book is going to be and I'm a bad readathoner and I think I'm going to skip under the surface breaks because I've been seeing a lot of the Twitter reviews and they haven't been great so I might just skip it. Okay, update you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm not quite sure what ex where exactly I left off on my left update, but I did finish Cruel Beauty. I think I told you that. Let's go ahead and say it in, and otherwise I'll insert something. Um, but since then, I went ahead and decided to start Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn, which is a Jane Eyre retelling, but it's sci-fi in space and YA. The English major in me decided that would be a good idea. I've seen good reviews. I'm about 20% of the way through Brightly Burning right now. After I do a quick errand, I'll be back and spend the whole afternoon reading until I'm actually going to meet Spencer this evening. We're gonna go to a bookstore because there's like a 50% off one book deal today and we gotta do that. Grab some dinner and then we're gonna watch a horror movie this evening. Fun times. We're planning on watching A Quiet Place which I've heard great things about, and it's kind of that atmospheric, psychologically thriller type of movie, which is my favorite kind of horror film, versus like blood and guts and jump scares every five seconds. So I'm hoping it'll be pretty good. 
I will check in with you guys in a bit. Bye! Um, like I said, I ended up reading a bunch this afternoon. I am at like 90% of the way through that book, so I'll just finish the little bit of it on our very last day of Retailathon tonight once I get back from Spencer's. But I am about to head over there to meet him at the bookstore. Maybe I'll show a little bit of that and we'll go from there. All right, bye. guys. So I just got back from Spencer's. We had some Chipotle. Definitely needed. We watched A Quiet Place, which was really good actually. Although I kind of wish I had more, but overall liked it. But now it's about nine o'clock and I've got to finish my very last book for Retailathon. I don't have very much of it left, so I'm gonna take a bubble bath and finish that up. And then I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow and give you a full wrap up of all my thoughts on all the books. And it should be a fun time. So I will see you then. Bye. Okay, final check-in for Retelathon. In total, I ended up reading three books. Ash by Melinda Lowe, Burning Brightly by Alexa Dunn, and Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. And then I read like 120 something pages of Tender Morsels, but I did not finish that one and that's fine. But that one was just a little too dark and intense for what I was in the mood for right now. And all of them I ended up giving four stars. They're all great. They weren't like my favorite books ever, but they were really fun, um, really sweet overall. And I really enjoyed getting to read more retellings because of this readathon. It actually made me pick, want to pick up quite a few more. I've got Spinning Silver on the Horizon. I'm very excited about that, but I knew I was not be able to fit it into this challenge, so I'm saving it for later. I think my favorite out of the three would probably be Cruel Beauty just because the world I felt was probably the most unique of all of them, but I wouldn't hesitate to recommend any of them. They're all great. So I hope you had fun with this. Over the vlog's not too bad. <laughs> Still getting used to the vlogging. Can't wait to see what everybody else read for Retelathon. But that's all I got, so if you want to follow me on other social media, I've got Goodreads, Twitter, um, Instagram, I'll put them all below. I'd love to connect with you guys there and keep our book discussion going. But you can also just stick around for more videos by subscribing below. And please, if you've read any good retellings lately, if you did them for Retellathon or just what you've picked up, let me know below because I really want to read some more now. But I'll see you guys later, alright? Bye!